What you're looking at here is an email message that I want to send off to Carrie. But before I do, do you see the red squigglies underneath the words and the one blue squiggly? According to Outlook, the red squigglies underneath those words are words that it considers misspelled, and the blue squiggly is a grammatical error or contextual. So like for what do you think, now it's supposed to be spelled as D-O. Now it doesn't capture everything, like for example the sales trend. Well, the word sales is correct, but not in context. It should be S-A-L-E-S. And then how about this one right here? When will you have time to discuss this? It should have a blue squiggly because that's supposed to be a question and not a statement ending with a period. In any case, to go ahead and clean this up and to fix all these errors really fast, you can simply hover over the error, give it a right click, and you get a shortcut menu with some suggestions like QTR with the period. Let's go ahead and left click on that and then right click on quarter to quarter, right click on month and select month and then right click on do to get the correct spelling of do and then Kurt oh come on that's the way I spell my name let's give it a right click and see what options I get like Curti oh that's not cool let's go down to well I can ignore all meaning that it'll ignore every spelling of my name if I had more than just the single here Kurt within the body of the message and not have any of those red squiggly underlines underneath it or I can add it to the dictionary that way it'll never consider the spelling of K-I-R-T as being a misspelled word. Let's go ahead and do ignore all, and it looks good. Now that's one way. Let me go ahead and hit undo several times, and it won't undo what I fixed in the subject, so I have to click up here and delete the period and then click off, and there you go. Now it looks at it as being misspelled. And the other way to go ahead and check for spelling errors within your email message is coming up here, clicking on the review tab, going to the proofing group, and there it is, spelling and grammar. And you can see in the pop-up, you can hit the F7 key as a shortcut. Now what this does is it starts from the top and it works throughout the email message, going from each misspelled word or grammatically incorrect word in a linear fashion, as opposed to you just right-clicking on each word that you can find, like a video game. Pew, 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 pew. I mean, oh, you're all over the place, right? In any case, when you click on it, it opens up and... It goes to the first misspelled word in the subject, and there it is, colored in red. And then the suggestions, QTR, period, I like that. So come over here and click Change. Now, if you had QTR throughout your entire message, like maybe 5, 10, 20 times, if you click on Change All, it'll automatically update all of them to what you selected here in the suggestions. So I just have it once. I'll just click Change, and then it goes to the next misspelled word. Okay, it skipped QTR, but... Maybe my Outlook has a bug. In any case, let's see if it picks it back up after I fixed month here. There it is, month. Click change. Okay, went back. Okay, that's kind of freaky. In any case, it's still checking for everything, so I'm good. There's quarter. Click change. And then do to the correct spelling of do. Click change. That's great. And then Kurt. Well, I can ignore it once, this one misspelled word, but if I had additional Kurt's with the same spelling, I can ignore all of them throughout the entire body of the message, or I can add it to the dictionary. Let's do that. So if I click on Add to Dictionary, Spelling and Grammar Check is complete, click OK, and now it'll never consider K-I-R-T as being a misspelled word, either in this message or in any new messages that I create. If I ignored it, it would just be in this message, and all new messages would have it as being misspelled. Now if I made a mistake and I'm like, no, it should be misspelled, to fix it, well, come with me, good neighbor, click on the File tab, go backstage down to Options, the Mail category selected by default, if not, select it, and then come over here and click on Spelling and Autocorrect, and then click on Custom Dictionaries, and select Custom Dictionary there, and then click on Edit Word List, and there it is. So Outlook has its own dictionary, but in addition to that, you've got your own, this custom dictionary that you can, you know, add words to, like K-I-R-T. But if I select it and delete it, and click OK, and click OK, it'll no longer consider it as a misspelled word. And if you made some changes and you want to be able to recheck for spelling errors in the message here, then come down here and click on Recheck Email. When you click on it, it says the operation resets the spelling checker and the grammar checker so that Outlook will recheck words and grammar you previously checked and chose to ignore. Do you want to continue? Yes. Click OK, click OK, and give it a second. There you go. Now we're back. And one last thing that I want to show you, let me go ahead and hit undo and get back to all the misspelled words here, is that if you had a lot of text within the body of the message, so much so that you have to scroll down to see the rest, 
Well, you may not pick up on the misspelled words because you don't see the red squigglies in front of you. So what you can do before you send this off is there's a feature that will automatically turn on the spell check and check for all the errors before it sends it off. So to do that, come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Options, Mail Category, then come over here to the ABCs, and then check, always check spelling before sending. Check that, click OK, and so if I'm in a hurry or I've got a lot of misspelled words that I don't see down below, I'm not focused, and I'm like, hey, let's just go ahead and send it, and I'm like, hey, what's the, oh, I got some misspelled words. Whew, that was close. I don't want to look unprofessional here by sending out an email that looks like I'm being sloppy and not checking for spelling errors. In any case, I can go through it really quick and say, let's do change and Kurt. Let's just ignore once and then quarter. We want to change and then month. Let's, there's the month that's selected. Click change and then do to the correct spelling of do. Click change and then as soon as it's done checking, away it goes. It went out to the outbox and sent it right out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.